trying to reach me again? Yes. Uh, I'm in the car now, driving. Where are you driving to? To my brother's house because we're going together to Mexico tomorrow morning. New Mexico or Mexico? Cancun. Be safe. I'm moving. When are you getting back? Fourth. Uh, can I see you when you get back, darling? Can you what? Can I see you when I get back? I may be leaving sometime around there to go to Eurasia. Yeah, of course. Uh, we got to talk about the project and everything when you get back to. Well, I worry if you can talk while you're in Cancun, we can still exchange documents. Because I'm probably moving to Eurasia and, and Mumbai until after the inauguration. Oh yeah, because they're talking about declaring martial law, and I don't need to be here during martial law. Oh my God. Oh yeah, it's already on the books to look martial law like a military order, and and Obama, and it comes up they voted into law two years ago. Even in the event of peace, he can declare martial law. They already have prisons for 50 million people and concentration camps with incinerators bigger than the Oslo. They are ready to lock this country down. They do not want Trump to be in charge. They do not want Hillary to be in charge. So it's either going to be Bernie or Obama, and, and, and martial law will decide. So I'm getting out of the country. It's going to be Bernie, it's going to be Bernie or who? Obama. He'll just stop, you stop the. Well, yeah, because if he stops the inauguration due to. Uh, it doesn't matter who's elected. If he stops the inauguration due to martial law, nobody can be inaugurated. He stays president. Well, and so, he can't stay long in the term. Yes, if they declare martial law, all bets are off. Go look at martial law. It's called Ready Preparedness. It's on the White House website. Go to Kirk Kelly Entertainment on Facebook. It's the lead story. It's been there for two weeks. Yeah, I don't have time to do that. Well, I'm just letting you know, they will declare martial law before the inauguration. And so I'm not going to be in the country during martial law. I just won't do it. Who did you vote for? I am not voting for any of these boneheads. I'm getting out of the country. I already have the State Department and Treasury setting up a global access card so I can get money wired to a card. All I have to do is hit an ATM and keep moving. I'll have cash wherever I need it. That's how we get Well, I don't know if you know it, but I have I have diplomatic. I don't know if you know, it, but I have diplomatic clearance through the State Department. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, I do have. I have that. I think you. Can you what? Yeah, go ahead. I'm listening. Okay. Uh, I think you confused two of my projects. I am looking for funding for the, the comic book series to replace one of the Chinese financiers I have right now for $8 million. Okay. So that's but, not the other project. But I, I do need paperwork on all this stuff because I, I've got too many other projects of my own, literally. That's why I'm going to raise you because we're punching out six to ten films and some television series. And Jeff's going to edit from Hollywood back with the teams in Mumbai and in, in Eurasia. We have a whole crew set ready to go, start editing the footage. These are the same people that did the Bond stuff in India and in, in uh, Eurasia. I have the same team. I don't think, I, I don't know what, you're, what you were just saying. My navigation was supposed to be. I time. said I have the same team in Eurasia and in India that they use for the born identities, that they use for uh, the, uh, the Leon Meeson films, and they use for Mission Impossible and for all these high-end films. I don't films. hear about that. Are you talking as far as with hunting or visual effects? I don't know what you're talking about. For the films we're working on that I'm going uh, overseas to finish getting out this year. And if we can tack some of yours in. In what capacity are you talking about? We're producing fully. Audio, sound design, audio, video, IMAX, okay. whatever. Okay, well, but unless I see the project, I can't, I have people who can put that in, but I need to know what the project is, what genre, where, where the rights, there's a lot of data I need to see before I can even answer my number. I can't do it on a phone book. I need to see a whole.
And honestly, if we're coming in at a level of that, we want a co-pro on it because we're putting in $8 million. Uh, I think they'll still do that because we haven't done it for anybody and we already have, we already have $50 million. You want to replace $8 million? Yeah, but so we can also bring in all the PNA and we're what? No we can also bring in the PNA and worldwide distribution. better offer and who can bring the paper together the quickest. I approve the funds of one point five billion dollars and up to twenty billion worldwide if I need it. Okay, can you is there anything that you can put in an email to me that I could share with him? Uh, send me send me a request to one but I'll send you the email address. Um, I'm not gonna remember it because I'm literally juggling a twenty billion dollar project right now. So I may be going to reply. I'll, I'll send you an email and just say send me the data to this address and I'll get you back contracts and we'll see what we can do. Okay, I'll try. Yes, love. If I don't tell them something about the person I'm sending it to, you won't give me anything. Well, I have access to twenty billion in worldwide funds right now. Well, that's why I said I need that. We need to get email going back and forth. So I'll send you an email address so we can start that dialogue. All right, Bob. Yes, love. Have a great time in Cancun, and let's talk while you're there, please. And if I can, I'm going to be working on... on uh, and do me a favor. Do me a favor. Listen to me carefully. If it doesn't look right, doesn't smell right, doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. Call me immediately so I can get you up. There's a lot of problems going on. You should check with Homeland Security before you drop. And you should register with the Homeland Security security tracking program so they can notify you if there's a problem in that region immediately. Well, I don't know how to do any of that. I, I do. Really if you want help, I'll send you directions. I'll send you directions how to do it via email. I, I work with the State Department for Diplomatic Services, so I can help. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Much love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do me a favor, do not use John Kerry's number under any circumstances without talking to me first. Hello? Did you get the text I just sent you? Okay, do me a favor, do not use, listen to me, listen, listen to me, do not use John Kerry's number, that is his direct number in the State Department, the diplomatic handler, call, tell him I referred to do not have to call John Kerry's office directly without checking with me first, that's John Kerry's direct line at the State Department. Okay, why would I call now? You wouldn't. Darling, well, you should pay attention to this one. It's State Department and it's Diplomatic Services, so if you have problems down there, give your numbers, you call the DC to get help. But just don't call Don Kerry. Call me if you're having problems with Diplomatic Security. I gave you the direct numbers in Washington, DC, to duty agents. 
questions if you're having a problem. Just tell them you're a direct friend of mine and you're working on some projects and they'll get you help. Okay. And if you can't reach anybody, call me. I'll, I'll get help down there to you. All right, thank you. Much love, sweetheart. Be safe.